Hi guys, I'm Tiffany. I'm one of the CLCA Chapman Learning Commons assistant. Now that UBC classes are going online, I realize that I have way more freedom in the way that I can spend my time on. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through nine suggestions that I have of things you can potentially do at home. Let's begin. Number one, keep up with your classes. Having classes online means that I have to maintain my self-discipline to keep up with my classes. Number two, having some group meetings. This is one of the virtual online meeting that we have with the Chapman Learning Commons team. Pretty fun, right? Number three, learn something new. I'm currently self-studying Adobe Photoshop through an online course in Udemy. To be honest, it's quite challenging so far, but I guess I enjoyed it. Number four, practice your hobby. I really like to draw. I started practice drawing since I got my new iPad and there's an app that I really like called Procreate. I like drawing because it's a good way for me to practice my creativity. I also love playing guitar. I've played guitar for six years now. Number five, having some self-care time to do whatever you want for yourself. Doing some face mask. Or just simply lying there and watching a K-drama that you like. Number six, sleep. Now that classes are going online, I have more time to catch up on my sleep. And of course, feel more prepared studying for classes. Number seven, cook a new recipe. Part of the reason why I really like cooking is because I be able to share how I care for people that I love. I'm cooking Korean chicken right now. Ta-da! Number eight, don't forget to exercise. Exercise is a very good way for me to de-stress. Here's my favorite position, plank. Do you want to plank for 30 seconds with me? Number nine, connect with your family. My parents? Back in Vietnam, it's really worried for me because I'm living alone right now. So it's good to call them often to make sure that they know that I'm okay. Those are my nine suggestions. How about you? Do you have any suggestions regarding possible things that we can do without extra free time now that UBC classes are going online? Share with us below. Bye!